Hello everyone, welcome back to the Daily Wrap and we're coming to you from a very unusual location today. It is Tokyo Disneyland. Moved down to Tokyo with the Wallabies from Sapporo. Uh, Beth, are you a Disneyland fan? Is this your first visit? Uh, no, I've actually been to Tokyo Disneyland before and the, it lives up to the reputation, the happiest place on earth and you know the sun is shining today and it certainly feels like a very happy place. It's hot and windy. I've done my research. Can I throw a few at you? 18 million visitors last year which makes it the third biggest theme park in the world. Why are we here? The Wallabies are staying just down on the edge of Tokyo Disneyland on the edge of Tokyo Bay there. Um, they've obviously got a match coming up with Wales but we have to look at last week's game first. There's been big drama rising out of that game. Rhys Hodges' hit on Paselli Yato uh, has got him cited. He's going to have to face a hearing for a dangerous high tackle. Yeah, dangerous what, tackle. Dangerous yeah. tackle. Um, the Wallabies are obviously going to fight that. They believe that it didn't meet the threshold for a red card. Beth, what sort of chances have they got? I think it's genuinely 50-50 at this point. I think it's really unlucky that Reese Hodge happens to be the first um, player to come under the judiciary at this World Cup because only last week yeah. referees boss Alain Roland was saying how they're going to crack down on high tackles and dangerous tackles and you know the first um, the first guy to get pinged is always going to you know potentially be made an example of it and that's probably the biggest worry for the Wallabies at the moment. Yeah and we saw a lot of uh, I guess reaction out of the Northern Hemisphere scribes who thought that that was Probably an offence that should have seen Reese Hodge sent off. So we're not exactly sure when that hearing's going to be. It could be as late as Wednesday. Um, the Wallabies aren't too bad off as far as depth goes in that back three spot um, in case Reese Hodge gets suspended. But as you say, it's one of those ones that you, the more that you look at it, the more you think, yep, he could get off or no. Uh, that does tick the boxes, if you like, of the World Rugby Guidelines. So it's a bit of a wait and see on that one. Uh, they were lucky enough to come through without any injuries from that win. Uh, the weekend, the first weekend, we haven't spoken to you since then, Beth. It was a, an epic weekend, wasn't it? The Wallabies, gosh, the hearts were in the mouth there for about the first 45 minutes, weren't they? Yeah, I think there's a few Wallabies fans who are having some flashbacks to Scotland 2017 and, and some other, you know, close finishes there, but they, they finished strong and the Super Saturday really lived up to it na its name, didn't it, Pato? Sure did. Uh, obviously, that's a really important win for the Wallabies. Uh, you've got to finish top two in your group. Uh, the Wallabies needed to get past Fiji. They've got Wales as well. A lot of people think that they're well matched with Wales and they've got a chance to beat Wales and finish top of that group. But at the very least, you'd expect now the Wallabies to go on and finish in the top two of the group and therefore make the quarterfinals. So uh, there's a little milestone past there. They're not thinking that way, of course. Um, what else happened on the weekend, Beth? Highlights, what were your favourite games? Yeah, well, you mentioned that the quarter-final crossover, the France-Argentina game, obviously cr crucial to the Wallabies' path to a potential final or progressing past the quarter-finals. And France breaking Argentinian hearts with a late drop goal, of all things. And then New Zealand beating South Africa as well. So it was, you know, some big results. All the other results went to plan, pretty much. Um, but as you say, there were some interesting results. This week is going to unfold. Obviously, the Reese Hodge news is going to keep us busy throughout the week. Beth's going to pop into Disneyland and pick up some Mickey ears, so we better let her go. And we'll see you tomorrow on the Daily Wrap with some more Hodge updates.